Hey, hi. Hey, collective. Um, I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I want to say Goobtastic Day. I'm going to just stick with the Goobtastic Day and see what that goes like. Um, but I hope you're having a Goobtastic Day. Um, hope you guys are feeling well. Highly blessed. Highly favored. Uh, you know, feeling with, within, not without. You know what I mean? Um, let's see what the energy has to say. Um, I have been learning. I hope you guys have been learning too. Okay, well these popped up up right. We have the Tower, Four of Swords, Eight of Cups. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> it happened. It happened. I'm. Hold on. We'll get. <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have the tower and the four swords. So there is someone, this may be about a death. This could be about someone passing away, or this is just an extremely burdensome ending that is happening. And someone needs to lay down. Someone may need to get some sleep. Um. But it's like someone's whole world is kind of falling apart and they, or like just being destroyed and they don't have anyone to come towards the help but the eight of cups it's like people have walked away from this energy and that's the reason i said was saying no is because we have sad squirrel in the two of swords so someone's pissed off and they don't really know what to do that's just a general energy is someone's pissed off it's like i used to have it all and now i don't have anything is the energy someone's in this is like here i'll let you even look at sasquatch for a second like someone's like pissed off and they don't know what to do this person could also just be like lost in their heart space just i don't know I thought I was better than this. It's the energy that's coming through. It's like I really thought that I was better than this. Five of Pentacles. Oh, damn. You know, I never really realized. Um, I'm not going to talk about it. Just, I'm not going to. Don't even worry about it. I'm not even going to talk about it. It's a cartoon thing. But someone feels like left out in the cold, dude. Someone feels like bro has the bell and everything. It's like, uh, what is it? Like the charity bell or something? I don't know. If you guys know, they'll come to me sooner or later. But someone is just out of it. The magician to the sun. So with the magician, you're balanced, you're very stable, uh, you have all the power within you. Or someone put a lot of their might into doing this as well. And with the three of uh, wands confirming the sun. Yeah, and then the four of cups coming through as well to, to be like, hey, it's like someone... It's an I told you so energy. Someone feels like... There's just a really big I told you so. Seven of Wands reverse. Maybe like this person is really with the Four of Cups even. Like someone's really, really thinking about the past. And they are just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like that's their energy. Yeah, what the fuck? I've been, I was sitting here doing all this shit to the Queen of Wands and they've just been working on their shit and they aren't in conflict. Despite me like going behind their back and so someone's someone's yeah this king of cups reverse three of wands reverse ten of wands reverse so this king of cups reverse this emotionally abusive person this person that wants to have control over emotions control over how things uh, play out in people's lives they're shocked they're in concern they are depressed 
What's the other word I was coming in my head? I'm not depra depraved, yeah, but... I'm gonna say gobsmacked. Gobsmacked's coming. This person's gobsmacked. Because... They see that you... Like, they felt like you knowing what they were doing behind your back was also gonna stop you. They thought that... Like, oh, well, if Collective knows what I'm doing, then I can literally just keep doing this. And then that thought of me not stopping unless, you know, they stop, which is how they're coming in. It's like someone wants you to stop so they can stop because they feel like they can't stop unless you stop. It's a really weird codependency here, but there's no cord. I'm not even feeling like a cord or energy. It's like you're not really attached to this person that this person really wants you to know like what's going on but then again it's also like this energy just doesn't care it's like really weird it's uh, it's almost like bipolar and coming from someone that used to have bipolar type 2 uh, I know how that is I did a lot of mental clearing to help me with bipolar so I've I've handled that myself. It's not everyone can... Well, every, everyone can, let's be real. But it's very hard um, to... Someone doesn't want to work. All in all, someone... Doesn't... Someone doesn't want something to work out for you. Someone doesn't want to work. Here's Happy Squirrel to make up. That's you as fuck. Happy Squirrel and the Hangman. You sacrifice some things to make your load a little bit lighter, you know? Um, I'll say it here. Let me get it. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. This is like... Uh, well, not that, because it has something in it. This is the bag... Not... This is about the bag that you can carry, right? And notice how there's nothing in this bag. There's just nothing. You can put whatever you want in it. It's just a bunch of air. Um, this is how light your yourself is. You're just light. And you're like... You're almost transparent. Because someone wants to find out how you're doing this. Or they want to find out like a way to like a new way to get so, so it's like the more you heal the more someone wants to try and get underneath your skin to make you feel like you're not healed but in the process of doing that you end up healing even if you were to react in a certain way you still end up healing because it's the path you're on and you I don't know this is so weird. Someone needs to someone needs to get their child under wraps. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I have way, 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 way too many decks. And that backpack is so it's stacked, dude. It's stacked. I have to go digging for things. I gotta call him to use another deck. I haven't used it in like a while, so I'll use it. And it's not at all what you think. It probably might be, I don't know. But we have the King of Pentacles, the Chariot. And the King of Swords. Oh, wow. With the Three of Swords. Yeah. So, someone sees you stable, knowing the truth, very brave and courageous. You're very... It's like, you don't care. You This person has what they've asked for, and you're perfectly fine. But someone is in very big, deep heartbreak because you've moved on. Someone might feel like they need your help or your money or your time something of yours um to move on yeah with the ace of cups they definitely need some sort of input from you to move on but they don't like the type of input that you're giving them or they don't like yeah, Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. They just don't like the fact that you're working on yourself. You're doing things that benefit you. They don't like that. They, they'd they rather...
they'd rather you work on them than work on yourself. Like, someone feels like you're healed enough and you should share. Um, that's what's going through. That's kind of funny. Yeah, look at you, happy squirrel. Yeah, hold up. Happy squirrel, sad squirrel. That's literally the dynamic right now. That's so funny. Come through, spirit. This is you. <laughs> this is you. And this is them. And that would probably make someone really pissed off. That's the thing. This energy is so unhealed that if he said, this is you, you're sad squirrel, they would probably get a little bit upset at you. They might not tell you or show you, but deep down they're like, don't you fucking call me a sad squirrel ever. Like, I can't help but to smile because it's funny, it's cute. But this person's like, don't you ever call me a sad squirrel again. Like, dead face, like, serious. Like, do not call me a sad squirrel. That's not funny. Like, that's, that's literally their energy. But you're happy, squirrel. So, of course it's happy, and it's funny, and, and it makes you smile, because you're happy. But this person don't want you to be happy. This person wants you to be sad. And that's not working. I mean, it's not like... It's not like you're never sad, but this person doesn't see that. Seven of Cups. They just see you embarking on your journey. So, this is some... This is someone who's, like doing something weird they're almost trying to act like they know how you feel they want to they want to seem like they know how your life is going but they don't they can see it but they don't they can see it but they don't want you to feel it they don't want you to feel proud of yourself yeah they want you to be in regret it's like, oh, you remember that mistake you made? Remember how you said you were going to do something for me and you never fucking did? Yeah, don't feel happy because I'm not happy because you let me down. I'm clearing that up because, mama, we already know um, I'm a channeler. It's what I do. I let it come in. It goes out. Simple as that. Don't call me possessed. I'm a literal exorcist. I exorcise myself daily. Okay? Don't even. I literally bathe in holy water, Okay? Like let's get let's get something real. I I ooh, I protect myself a lot. So don't 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 say I'm like possessed or that I need to like go back in my recordings and watch stuff. I know what's going on. I'm in control all the time. I'm in control 24/7. Nothing happens inside of this vessel that I'm not aware of. Always and forever. I mean, there's stuff that you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like I find out about it one way or another. I'm never out in the cold forever. That's what I'm trying to say. But thank you for the concerns, though, for real, because it is appreciated to the moon and back, no matter how, no matter what. But what's going on with this energy, spirit? The Three of Pentacles popped out and then went back in the deck. So, I'm taking that as an indecision. Someone wants to work together, but they don't know how. They don't know what to do. They just know that they've crossed a boundary with you that they can no longer, that they've like, they've shown you who they are. And it's like, yep, you can't come back. And this person wants to like, like redeem themselves because they feel like... They feel like it was an accident, but I don't know. It could be an accident, but at the same time, like you've, you've already shown collective how bad you can be. So why would we ever want to be near you at that point? Like you're, you've really proven that you're just an, an asshole. Um, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Star. Yeah, you have great fortune, stability, a lot of stability, financial stability, mental stability, spiritual stability, maybe even a new family life. With the four of wands and a star, you're like the one. You're the one and only. And you're moving forward with a lot of determination and a lot of bravery, a lot of childlike wonder in your vision as well. You're moving forward like... Almost without a doubt in your mind is how it seems. With the King of Wands and the Hangman, 
This could be someone who's very authoritative that's in your energy, wants to have a lot of authority and tell you how things are supposed to be. Um, but the only reason they want to tell you how things... So it's like, this person's getting judged by the Lord. They're being judged by God. They're under adjudication, probably on the 3D, 100% in the spiritual, um, a thousandfold by themselves. And it's like, I want to be able to control something. And since I can't control my thoughts about the situation, I'm going to control you. But I can't even control you. So what am I doing? Yeah, Ten of Cups, because you're in alignment and you're moving forward. You have the whole world in your hands. You're able to move forward beautifully. Um, like, Knight of Swords as well. You're moving forward really quickly because of your contracts in the ethers with the lovers clarifying that as well. The only thing that could stop you is by you stopping yourself or you letting other energies in to sort of kerfuffle you. Um, and that doesn't mean, you know, shutting off your heart. It just means being careful who you work with. The three of Pentacles and a Fool. Literally, be, just be careful who you work with if you work with anyone. But remember that you do have people who do see you um, and want to help you. There are a lot of people who are proud of you in this time. And you're not as alone as you feel. There may need to be like... A new, a new, a new look on reality. A new look on where you're at. Don't let the past fool you. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. There's gonna, you're getting, being given a gift of, of union. Lovers, strength, Knight of Wands. Yeah. There is definitely like a union of of a strong like connection a new a new contract coming in i heard savior as well like redemption of your character redemption of yourself and there's a lot of people in your energy that can't really they want to redeem themselves but they can't because they've done everything to themselves yeah I don't know. A lot of people counted you out before you even, like, grew. And then now it's like you're being given what you want, Empress, because you worked and you got it. These people, they want what you have without doing any other work, but that's, you can't. Um, and they're figuring that out. Um, for themselves, they didn't want to listen to you or the warnings, so, or to God, really. So now God's like, okay, since you didn't want to listen to me then, how about how about I just show you the truth and we move on from there? Yeah, and then on the bottom of this it says the light at the end of the light at the crossroads. And speaking of crossroads, I heard a train horn blow six times. And train horns blow six times um, when they're coming uh, when there's like when they're coming towards a split uh, like this cross track or whatever the fuck I forgot what it's called um, so there is like a change a house wow okay so anyway we have house trusted sweetheart surprise false and actual money okay so I feel like you have a house. Your stability is real. Like, it's been fact-proofed. You're, you're, or like a house. This house of people. This, like, house is a branch. Maybe these people who are a part of some sort of branch. Like a family branch. Or like a, a friend branch. You know, all sorts of different trees. They see that you are a sweetheart. Um, surprise and false. Someone may be surprised about the information about some sort of like statements someone might have been lying about you like oh they don't actually have money or anything but you do there's some sort of surprise about who you are and like what you get and just how important you are to someone or to something and that really 
bothers this person or people or this house, this community for Pete's sakes. Like there's a, and this community doesn't even have to be attached. The community is just a community of haters, just people that don't like you glowing up or like maybe it's a spiritual community and there's like people who um like they're on the path that you are on but they're also but it's like they have judgmental ways of thinking about you like they think that you're it's like you don't have much of a a public appearance so they feel like you're like oh you know who cares about you i can do better than you because i have all these public people around me but that's not the case these people learn from you these people kind of steal from you um not gonna lie these people like they have their own interpretations very much sure but someone is like not as honest as they feel but someone was expecting you to be in some sort of emotional uh, pain due to these love spells that they were doing on you or someone's expecting to be in some emotional pain because of a love spell achievement rich goal yeah someone's yeah because you're you got your achievement you're you're the queen of pinnacles you did it you got where you were supposed to be um i heard before you were supposed to be there i don't know why people like to act like they're god in people's lives but that doesn't work yeah something's changed the veil has been lifted from you healer there's the Queen of Swords reverse, a big fat liar who's a karmic femme, who's obsessed with you, obsessed with doing divination rituals on you, so they can give you some sort of love offer. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna just tell you how it is. It's coming through this way. I'm gonna tell you every avenue, because I want to. If you are a man, there is a woman who is obsessed with you, doing love spells on you, and rituals on you, so they can soften your core, so they can come in and like emit love to you. Or, if you are a woman, there is a man who is doing that to you. Or, if you are a man, and you are gay, <laughs> there is a woman <laughs> that wants to do that, so they can make you love them. If you are a woman, and you are lesbian, there is a man doing this to you. If you are, I have to throw it out there because, Mama, this is happening for me. If you are trans and you do not date other trans people because that's just your preference, there is someone else who is trans the same way that you are trans male to female, people to male, take it as it resonates, who is doing those things to you to soften your body down so they can come in and give you a love offer. They know they're going to be rejected because you do not swing that way and or you do not like them. But they want to do it anyway. Because they feel like they're going to have some sort of luck. And they're not. So, I hope that clears up the water for all the situations. Or like, and I'm not going to get down to the nitty fucking gritty. This could be down to like as 3D as like a race issue. Or like a height issue. Or like, you know, like a preference. You know what I mean? But this person does not... It has nothing to do with appearance. It has everything to do with energy, intentions, motivations, and, like, who they are in your life. You don't like this person. You don't like their energy. You don't like what they do. You don't like what they stand for. You wouldn't be in a relationship with that person. They're karmic, and they're just jealous and envious of you. This is a fucking soulmate who is mentally unstable, and they're with a karmic masculine so they can team up against a divine feminine to make them lose their divine their divinity so that they don't get their divine masculine. That's what they're obsessed with. Hi. I'm connected to the all that is and all that will ever be. <laughs> I, love, I love ending it. I just love being cute. But someone's down the wrong pathway. Someone might have legal issues on them for, like doing some stalking or like harassing you um you know whatever the fuck they're doing that isn't for you there's just a lot of it's just listen someone really wants you to like 
love them um, because this person is infatuated with you and they don't they can't handle rejection and since we're in the age where everyone likes to do magic on people they think that that's how they can get people because they've done it before um, and if you say no they'll just kill you and that's not they didn't mean for that to come out is that what's going on spirit that was just straight up channeling either either physically or like just a branch of you like you know your job your career your money whatever the fuck just trying to do things to defame you someone could just have legal issues for talking so much shit about you and you let's say you're a business owner and someone's running around defaming you making your business drop they can get arrested for that or someone's taking like clips of you or recordings of you or from your channel and reacting to well reacting to it but critiquing it whatever the fuck they want to do and you did not give them permission to do so they have legal issues on their hands they're not allowed to do that you have a business um that's defamation that's slander um you can most definitely go to jail for slander um we're not elementary school, we're not in middle school, high school, we're in the real world. As real as it's gonna get, real world, quote unquote. You know, the box, the box inside the box inside the box is three layers gone, so now you're just in this really big box where you have a whole new set of law. Like, someone needs to understand that once you hit a certain age in this world, once you hit a certain age, your childish actions are either determined to be mental issues and you're handled with the way that they handle that or you're just someone that's not suitable to be in society so they lock you away for six months until they deem you able to come out um like let's get it real but let's go what else is going on here in this energy sphere mature man the courthouse Mature man courthouse endings. Something is ending for this mature man due to a court situation. <laughs> like, the mature man could have gone to a courthouse to try and end something for you uh, because they're fucking addicted to doing it. And maybe this person keeps going to the courthouse or keeps putting in requests for your, oh, we'll look into this again, look into this again, look into this again. And they're like, we've been looking into it for the past however long and they're not doing it. Like, you're the, you're the issue. Shut the fuck up. If you come back through this office again, we're arresting you. This is the energy. This person is in a fucking, I can't make it up. This person's in an illusion. This person is scared of you because of what? Maybe you kept a promise. Maybe you told someone that you were not going to talk to them because you didn't have anything to say to them. And now they became scared of you because you're not talking to them. So instead of being mature and just letting that lay there, they end up acting a fool and doing weird things to you and acting rash and sticking their ass out and just being very immature. Just a bunch of dumb shit and giving themselves more reason to be scared because now that they've done all these things to you uh, and to your business, to your life, however it is, your life in general, let's just keep it a, a bean. But because they've done all these things to you, you now have so much extra um, like legal ground that you can take against them because their own actions were done to you because of a delusion this person can literally like be deemed as not mentally sane or like you know uh like i don't want to what is it schizotypical um when you just have like i think that's what i'm trying to get to is schizotypical yeah yeah change mature woman there's a mature woman that's trying to chain. So there could be a mature woman that's trying to like. A chain mature woman, twin flame, and Jezebel reverse. Someone could be trying to change because they know that you're not a Jezebel. You're not a fucking lustful demon. Um, you don't go around and do lustful things. 
you're not like I don't know how else to say you're just not horny for everyone someone might think that you're horny for everyone someone might think that you're fucking like oh I want to have sex with everyone in the world type energy I don't know this person or maybe just the way you look makes this person feel that way as well but someone's trying to change so they can be like you and it doesn't work stop that's funny as fuck here but no we're not going there gift priestess yeah this person might want to just be gifted like you were i give someone wants to play house someone wants to play house Someone wants to play house. It's like, look, uh, you're, look, I'm, I'm the wife, and, 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 and you're the one that my husband cheats on me with, and, and I, I don't know about it, but I do, and it's okay. Like that's how they want it to be, and that's like, really weird and gross. It's really weird and gross, <laughs> and like you might even know this from these people because you're a gifted high priestess. You might even do like this is giving someone they might be scared of you because you're gifted and the fact that you won't play house with them is their issue it's so weird man what's going on spirit that's what's going on star seed the veil Divination, yeah. Abandonment. So they, through divination spying, through doing readings on you, whatever the fuck they're doing, they found out that you're a star seed, an actual, authentic, one of a kind earth angel, the one that God delivers to your doorstep to fix up your life. They found that out and they realized that they abandoned an earth angel and it's like, oh God. So that's why our magic's not working, because it's an earth angel, it's a literal divine being. We're all divine beings, and we all know this, but you were appointed to someone in their life to help them fix their life. Uh, and instead, you brought destruction because this person wanted to bring you destruction, and... The way Earth Angel energy works is it's a big, you know, uh, reverse card, and... Yep, and this opposition got fucked up. And they stuck in it, too. Seven could be in jail. Seven could be 29 and facing jail time. Your opposition could be 29 years old and facing jail time. Woo. Yeah, cause you blocked this bitch, too. This is someone that you blocked. Like, I'm not even picking up energetically. I'm picking up this someone you blocked on social media. You blocked this weirdo on social media. And you said, I don't want to talk to you at all. And you blocked him on social media. And that sent them raw, bro. <laughs> that made, that sent them off the chain. Like, oh, you're going to block me? You're going to block me? Okay, uh, well, I'm going to go do black magic on you now because you blocked me. So, man, 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 man. Yeah, relationship. You blocked a family. Mm, this could be someone in your family that you blocked. Or this person wanted to block your relationship with your family because or ruin your relationship with your family because of it but karma is here uh it's in the upright whenever kev pulls this card if it's in the upright it's good karma so you're on the good side of karma i feel you got good luck coming to you oh yes you do with real love being on the bottom not destruction on this split someone's trying to destroy this <laughs> Someone's trying to destroy this rela relationship. There's a boss that's in their thoughts, though. What's this, what are they thinking about? About moving on. Ooh, they're thinking about moving on. Okay. <laughs> this boss is in their thoughts about moving on, baby. This boss man, this boss woman, whoever this is to you. Oh, they're in their north node. And they're confused why someone was doing voodoo to get money. Yeah, I would be confused too on a healer. You're like, you let's do voodoo on a healer to get money. You're like, nah, nah, nah. Listen, just go get a job. But this is all about money. Someone wanted money. Commitment reverse. Someone was gonna get money if this commitment didn't come. If you weren't committed to something, 
it's given the energy of like, oh, if Collective doesn't like get on their path and do their thing, yeah, Intuitive Kev on there, that's confirmation. Intuitively, you're unbothered. But someone like, I feel like you know this too, which is why Intuitive Kid of Unbothered came up. It's this person was going to get money if you didn't uh, stay on your path. And Lord and behold, they didn't do it. Intuitive Kev, rich guy. So there's maybe, maybe this King of Pentacles coming in is very intuitive as well. And they know this too. Uh, King of Cups as well. Damn, Emperor Energy coming out in the distant future. Bliss and Emmer. Yeah, in the distant future, you're, you're gonna be happy. Maybe hit with the, I don't wanna say hit with the love bug because the love bug's a fucking demon. But you may be falling in love. Hopefully, at least with, you know, you better be falling in love with yourself. And with the world around you, you know, always. Love everyone as if they are your if if, if as uh, love everyone as if they are you because they are you. They're just a different shade of you that you don't see or that you ignore. Family reverse, legal. Your corrupt ass family is in legal issues, and they're pissed off because you're a star sea rising star. And this community knows the truth. Um that people were trying to that they were doing some dirty deeds to try to abuse a healer because they were jealous about your uh, manifestations a whole community of people know this man someone has a health concern they got an entity attachment you have high self love and you're held in high honor whatever voodoo whatever work and shit they've done with this voodoo is gone back on this person or people I mean, it sucks to be you. It sucks to be you. I don't know what else to say. Let's see here. Well, you know what? I picked you up, so. You know, after thinking about it, this I've always wanted this deck, the Liberty, the Liberty, Liberty, whatever. Um, when I, I have this site that I went on when I first started my journey that has a bunch of tarot cards on it, and I just haven't, you know, I just don't, I didn't have the funds to buy the cards that I wanted, so I just never did, but this was definitely on the list, so I'm really glad I have it. Oh, oops. Well, I accidentally had this card there still. Oopsie. Six of swords, seven of swords. Wow. Yeah. You moving on really has someone feeling betrayed, abandoned, even. You moving on, like, you've moved on from a lot. Like, there is some, like, passage that's being taken with the eight of swords and the ten of swords. Yeah, it's like the Divine is trapping this person. Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles? Damn. With Judge... With, uh, that's balance. That's technically like... What is that? Temperance energy thing? Because adjustment is temperance, yeah. But you're at the Ten of Pentacles. You're at the Nine of Pentacles. You're being given a gift, and that's fair. This person's like... Being held back. Not only by themselves, but by forces unseen. Just so that you can live happily and that kind of that shouldn't have to be a thing but it is yeah death with the two of wands reverse yeah there is death and there's no way of getting away from it this person's stuck in the mud right where they wanted you right right where they wanted you they are at uh, And this energy doesn't like being stuck. It's the energy of like panicking because they're stuck is how it feels. With the Ace of Swords to confirm that, yes. And this card does not come out at all. Wow. I love the way that looks. Heavy presence of Michael, Archangel Michael. I feel like Michael is definitely here. Stomp on these fools next. Oh. 
That's beautiful. Like you, you have celebrations on the way. I just heard "Keep it quiet" with the two of uh, with the two of LOL, the high priestess and the chariot, and the fool. That's a lot of lessons right there. Intuitively, you know how strong you are and what you're coming into. You know that you're able to make this leap, so don't let anything perturb you. Four of four as well to be a confirmation for that. Uh, the four of cups and the four of swords. Yeah, do not let anyone hold. You. Don't don't you are you are healed from the past. There's the looking in the back in the past in a regretful manner no longer exists. You're you're healed. I love that for you. I love that for you. Four four. I, it was forty and then forty four seconds. So four four four. Whenever I looked up, so yeah, just damn. You got fours all over. So you're doing just fine. I'm gonna shuffle three more times with this spirit. With the sun, the knight of swords, and the five of uh, wands. You are moving past this conflict and it is seen by everyone. Judgment being here with Aorus energy, and that is completely fair. And the world to follow that as well. Congratulations. Yay. Um, something about your solar plexus and sacral chakras, honey. You might want to check up on them. Make sure you're not, like, abusing them. Um, is there any other tarot? Are we good? We're good. That's the message. I, I feel like we got it. So be careful. I'm hearing just be careful of like your of what you think and what you say. <laughs> A fire sign is doing spell work again can you just stop with like it's not doing anything your spell work doesn't do anything child i just heard oh really yes really so shut the fuck up don't combat me i'm gonna shuffle three more times This person is not healing. Ha! <laughs> it even fell out. Yeah, no, this person is not healing. I'll keep it out there, yeah. It kind of wants to stick out. <laughs> A hard, all that, uh, all that glitters is gold, but it's not really. All that glitter is not gold. Sometimes if the sun hits it just right, shit can shine too. It's a good one, right? That's a pretty good one, right? I like that. That's a pretty good one. I'm gonna shuffle three more times, Spirit. Y'all got me funny tonight. Y'all got me funny tonight, for real. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Fake friends. Womp womp. I like how it's always a fake friend that has to be the most upset at you because you don't want to have a... Listen, a fake friend is worse than a real enemy. I stand on that. So let's do some more shuffle in here. Shuffle three more times. Yeah. 
you need to pay attention because these people don't care. So pay attention to who's telling you what and if they truly like care about you or if they're just using you as like an ear to blab to. You know what I mean? I'm gonna shuffle five more times after this spirit. We have fake. You're on your light. Your solar plexus is aligned. You're good. Someone can't understand how to forgive. Whatever they done, the full moon is going back to them. They fumbled the bag, and you're not confused, or they're not confused. You're not a fallen angel. Uh, someone can't fill in the blanks. They have fog brain. They have to let you go. Son, maybe your son has to let you go. Something about Nasa Nitrous. Someone could be like, uh. Whippets. They're called Whippets. I'll leave it at that. Someone could just be doing Whippets. If you know what that is, you know what that is. Um, listen to Divine Guidance. There's a karmic mask that wants to bring balance. Oh, there's on a soul level. 555, five, five, you're protected from them. You might need to listen to music, music therapy, relax. You're in the flow of life and someone's pissed off as fuck. She set him up, stay strong. The magic backfire is happening times 10 because you're an idol. We have Z, I, X, L, A. You're a rare gem in your healing. Beautiful. There's a upside down Pisces. The time is right. The time is now for the truth to be exposed. Okay. The time is right. The time is now for the truth to be exposed. Oh, I just heard um, the divine is giving these people chance after chance to just admit the truth. And they're not. So readers are just getting more and more information about who they are and what they're doing. Uh, until they just admit the truth because you're going to get it one way or the other. Someone's a smart ass who's trying to give you a trauma response because you know they're stalking you so they can't stalk you anymore. They feel awkward. This is a liar. They lied about having access to the cosmos. This is a fire sign who lied about doing prayers to make you not have a glow up. Um, but 111, you have new beginnings and it's in God's hands. Yeah, you go to this person because they were trying to do bonding magic on you and that shit did not work. Evil eyes are being blocked from this narcissist. And you have left behind all bad habits, or you need to leave behind your bad habits. This is a know-it-all who is not protected. Uh, they're copying. They don't have personality. You're a seer. There's a cancer Virgo that can't cleanse their chakras. This is a karmic mask. So you might need to burn some bay leaves. Um, Capricorn is not safe and sound because they're having a fall from grace uh, and you're protected from all evil I love that for you I really do we have this mirror magic someone's trying to do mirror magic to give you an entity attachment of Capricorn who's a doodle bob but you have new plans they can't come back they're a non-believer so you can relax this shit's not even gonna hit you clean your mirrors if you need to as well someone's losing money a cancer who is a distorted masculine god sees you loving yourself oh that's cute so you can relax these people are junk mail anyway Raphael is here to heal you you are not misusing your gifts and someone's going around spreading shit because they're a liar that's so funny T, that's the T, lol. You may need to get into recce or do some recce. Your health might improve because of it. You're stuck in some sort of old energy. Uh, this word magic's not helping. Doing anything. This word magic's not hitting you. Someone's not out of this world. Someone's not going on vacation. Uh, a distorted fire sign is doing spell work on you because you're the star. And they lost a real one, a real earth angel. So you can cry a little bit, release some people. You're not a man-child or a man-woman, and these evil eyes are being blocked. Uh, 
Raphael is here to heal you, as always. Thank you, Raphael. What is so? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just gonna talk about it. Um, a fire sign's weakness is that they don't feel worthy of love. Um, they feel their ego is their biggest issue. Um, they don't feel like they're able to have love, or they don't feel like... I don't know, they feel like they amount to something bigger than who they are. A lot, like, a distorted... Like, that's the shadow side of a fire sign. And they they tend to have a lot of emotional issues um fire signs are easily addicted because they feel like they have control over something but they don't so they have to cope with it by getting uh control over a situation they feel a lot of them feel like they can run the taurus build of just you know headstrong pulling through things especially not being mean but leos and aries do that a lot especially leos i'm not being mean to my leos out there but y'all know i'm just spreading some facts um and if you have to apologize for someone else's actions don't like heal i'm not talking about you don't need to no need to do that you know what the truth is though you with fire sign you know um again it's not trying to be mean it's just the truth it's a hard pill to swallow, I know. But I'm going to shuffle two more times. Oh my god, spirit. But we have horse, which is freedom. You must break out of the limitations that are holding you back, whether they are self-imposed or put on you by other people or society. Break free and run faster towards your dreams. Ant, which is perseverance. This is a message of patience. Whatever is going on right now, you cannot be so ambitious. By pacing yourself, the end result will be far more rewarding. Slow down, don't rush, work carefully, and learn to accept help from others. Hippopotamus, which is exploration. If you have become bored with your life, you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making spiritual connections. Dog, which is loyalty. You may be feeling like those around you let you down or are not doing their fair share of work. This comes as a reminder that loyalty exists and you must not settle for anything less. You deserve better than mixed signals. Elephant, which is forgiveness. If you are feeling angry about a past issue, the elephant is asking you to discover the more vulnerable feelings behind that anger. You are being asked to forgive and be gentle with others. Scorpion, which is new beginnings. You are invited to instigate change, and you, but you are also being warned that this transformation may be radical. Get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. Based on this principle, destroy for rebuilding, you are promised a beneficial rebirth. Ladybug, which is luck, your goals are about to manifest in remarkable ways. Dreams are coming to fruition. Stop and enjoy this moment. It is important to let things flow at their natural pace. Rest assured that in due course of time, your wishes will come true tiger which is patience you are being reminded that persistence is what necessary to attain your goals you need to be patient and trust that the universe will help you through your challenges in divine timing success is guaranteed spider which is manifestation you weave your web in life what you see before you are the results of your thoughts if you occur, if your current reality doesn't suit you then it's time to make changes to your conscious manifestation your energy can bring in all you desire Buffalo, which is abundance, abundance and liberation are finally on the way. It comes to you now to remind you of the amazing manifestation power of gratitude. You will always have plenty when you express gratitude to every part of creation. And last but not least, beaver, which is balance. You are being told that hard work is important, but so is quality time with your loved ones. The balance between work, play, family, and career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success. Cards. Let's see what the angels have to say. I shuffle ten times. You know the rules. Okay. I 
Shut up, I'm done. First off, we have, you are protected with Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. The Divine Physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. The Miracle of Forgiveness, Archangel Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me to understand the process of forgiveness. Take a step back. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what is not serving me. Move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. Signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. Open your heart with Archangel Shammy in my heart. Focus your mind. Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. Honor your beauty with Archangel Joy Phil. Thank you, Joy Phil, for helping me to discover my inner and outer beauty. Manifesting miracles. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Connect with music. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. Connect with... Uh, I did that already. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. And last but not least, shine your light with Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with this world. And this song, This Little Light of Mine, started playing. Um, as well as my sage kicking off like crazy. Um, thank you for protecting me. Damn, I wish y'all could fucking see, like, something happening. Anyway, regardless of what's happening, I love you all so much. See you back. Thank you all for all the support that you do. Um, it means the world to me. I'm greatly appreciative of it all. I love you all so much. See you back tenfold and forever, and I will see you all later.